first things first, how about those pokes this afternoon? Uh, really proud of coach, all the coaches, because I know what their families have gone through in a tough year. And the players as well. I, I didn't get to see much of the first half at our shoot around. I saw every play of the second half. And uh, what a great way to finish the game and hopefully give us a little impetus in recruiting. Uh, as, as far as this game goes, I actually thought we'd get more resistance from Montana State the last seven or eight minutes. And I was pleasantly surprised the way our guys finished the game, both defensively and offensively. Um, and the stat sheet doesn't show. We got some really good minutes from JB before he took a shot early in the game. And we got some good minutes from Jeremy Lieberman, although they didn't quite play the minutes that they're used to because we went with size most of the game. And I thought it helped us. It really helped us on the backboard. Um, Two things stood out to me that I put uh, on the board. Uh, uh, Twenty, I think it was 26 points the second half they held them to. And we have given up a lot more second half points than first half points so far this year. I thought we really buckled down there. And then we only had four turnovers the second half. Uh, those two combined with going 17 for 22 at the foul line can finish games even for a new team. Well, they got away from running their Creighton offensive sets, and it was more about, uh, I kept hearing, attack, attack, attack. So they wanted to put the ball on the floor and just go at us. And so we gave up a little ground, but we did a much better job against the three ball in the second half, and that's what hurt us early in the game. And I thought defensive rebounds, I thought finishing possessions, like they're going to get a shot, uh, but we got a slew of defensive rebounds. If I'm not mistaken, somebody whispered in my ear, we had over 80% of the defensive boards in the second half, and we're going to have to do that in a lot of games. Do you feel like you contested better in the second half? I just thought we played better defense position-wise. And then, again, I thought, you know, we always talk about the first six seconds and the second six seconds. You know, in between, it's a lot of personnel driven. But those first six seconds are how fast do you want to get in position to take away easies. And the last six seconds, how efficient are you of just giving them one shot? And, and like I said, I thought Herndon and, and uh, JJ and Hayden did a great job eliminating second shots in the second half. Team, uh, did it prove, any, prove anything to you regarding as far as rebounding goes? You know, I think we talked about it about 10 days ago. You know. Some of this is not going to go away. I mean, you know, the guy's 185 pounds and Herndon's probably uh, in my hot tub 199. That's not changing for 12 months. But their positioning can get better. And the ability to keep balls alive and chase balls down has to get better because, um, you know, this is the first time in a long time I thought we really addressed that and maybe won a second half handily because of that. Another good lesson for, for, this, for this new team? I think it was, and that's why I said I was a little surprised. I thought we'd get more resistance from them. Once we got that 12, 13 point lead, uh, I was pleasantly surprised at their lack of resistance. How much did you like just the grit of your team? Down 11 early, things aren't going well, and then really just turned it on? Yeah, the beginning of the game reminded me of the beginning of. Uh, Wednesday night. I mean, I think we missed seven of our first eight shots Wednesday, and it sure seemed like we missed about five or six of our first seven shots today. But we hung in there because it was still only six to three after about four minutes. And we've always talked about that, although this is a new era. Um, on your worst shooting night, can you prove to yourself you could win the game? And the only way you can do that is if you play better defense and make your foul shots. And so hopefully this team is at least one step closer to understanding that. Do you see that mentality, Larry, where if they're struggling shooting, they are at least driving the ball, trying to get to the line? Because it seemed like you knocked down some pretty key free throws in the first half. Yeah, we, we, we got to the bonus early a lot of games this year, and especially for a new team who might want to 
jack it up a little bit quicker. I think they've done a good job of balancing both attack shots. Uh, Hayden and Herndon had a couple nice attack shots in the game as well. And we need to do that because of the way we're built. Morris is healthy, you know, and I told a couple guys in the locker room, you know, every team, including ours, has a couple of games and a couple of guys each game that probably don't quite get what they would love to get. And I, nobody wishes more that I could give everybody what everybody wants. But I said, your time will come. I don't know when. You don't know when. Just keep a positive attitude. Do you expect JB to be okay? Yeah, I think JB's going to be fine. He got hit where he should have got hit. Those were those were based on matchups. Uh, they they played. Uh, uh, I can't pronounce his name, but number 13, 25 minutes. He's normally a 10, 12 minute player, but he's a three point shooter. So we thought that put a, a bind on JB in terms of switch outs. And we thought Hayden, Jason, and Al inside could do a better job switching out. So that's why Lieberman and uh, JB didn't quite get what they normally get in terms of minutes, but I thought we needed them when they were on the floor. Have you seen something different in, in Al in the last two games? I mean, Zero rebounds against Highlands, and since then he's been, um, you know, he's obviously taken a step with. with yeah, I like more of what I've seen. You know, statistics can really, uh, you know, they're good for your profession, but not for mine. They're good to gaze at but only to gaze at. But I definitely thought his energy level on the defensive end, both these games back to back, has been much better. And we need his presence. You know, we're used to seeing, uh, I don't know what Cook's number was, but Cook and 22 in there. And they made up for a lot of uh, poor defensive plays in the past. And we don't have that right now. And Al's given that to us the last two games. Started to see more of the, the hustle plays that, that close out ball games. One thing that comes to mind for me is JJ's offensive rebound. I think about two minutes left. It took another 30 seconds off the clock. It was a big play. You know, we had taken the, the clock down and had to take a, a, a hurried shot and a big offensive rebound. JJ's, you know, he's getting healthier. Um, you know, this is not a surprise. This is something we need. Uh, I can't think of any of the 11 that we don't need. I mean, Jordan's time's going to come. Moe's time's going to come. And, uh, you know, and you never know when. Um, I just got through discussing with them, you know, adversity is coming. We've already had a little, but there's more coming. And so embrace it and uh, learn from it and move forward. So with the, the 11 that you have, you know, basically in the rotation, do you feel like you're going to play matchups more? More so this year than, than maybe you did last year? Uh, there, add five? I don't think there's any question. You know, we, we came in the season, and I think it was very clear we have one guy that's rode the race. You know, he's put it in the books. And everybody else was sort of a hodgepodge of poke time um, and different nights for different guys. And I want it inclusive. That's why we've changed our, you know, the kids get excited about the beginning of the game. The coaches get excited about who's on the floor at the end of the game. But we've changed because we know we don't, you know, there's an old expression, we don't know what we don't know yet. There's so many unknowns about this team. It's exciting, you know, sometimes it's not so exciting for Papa Shai, but it's exciting to see some new people in new positions. It's more exciting when we have the lead. So do you treat the non-conference specifically as a time to kind of experiment? And uh, you know, there's no – when you coach at Wyoming versus Florida, there's no non-conference. This idea that these guys say on TV, boy, I hope we're playing our best in March, it's absurd. we got to win in November and December to even be in the ballpark. We have to win. And that puts a little more pressure on a new team. But I've always said I'm not going to talk to them, I'm not going to coach them, and I'm not going to teach them like that other word, I'm going to teach them to try to prepare for every game and to do their best and win. Uh, we're going down to Denver. We, we've never beat them at their place. So hopefully it's the next challenge up and um, we'll be ready Wednesday night.